Hey guys, it's Mekasan here with the uh, first trailer for the final season of Netflix's reimagining of She-Ra and the Princesses of Power. Uh, okay, I've been uh, I watched this series in my spare time, and I've enjoyed it. I mean, I just watched it for myself here. It makes me wish I did do a reaction for this series, but. I have, yes, I, I don't know why, but there's apparently a number of people who are not fond of it. I mean, I, I remember uh, the Clownfish TV, uh, those, the two hosts said that they, they think it's terrible. I, having never been ex never seen the, the original She-Ra, I watch it and I'm like, oh, I, I, I like this. I like this, at all, per period. Maybe... Maybe it's because it's different from the original She-Ra from what I've heard, but I got no issue. I got no issue with it, and I can rewatch the entire all these seasons, the entire show over and over again, no problem, just on reruns. So yeah, season four, whew, uh, that was deep. That was heavy. Uh, it ended with the realization, the re revelation, a nice twist that uh, Light Hope, the AI. Became a surprise antagonist here because and we learned the truth about Mara, how she betrayed. Oh god, it's like her so her people turned the planet of Etheria. Like they they saw the its unique magic, which by the way, I like that here. Unique magic, different from the rest, because the universe loves diversity and there are so many diverse everything. Like there's diverse field forms of sciences. There's gotta be diverse forms of magic as well. That's just that's just logical. So yeah, they saw how unique, and they turned the entire planet of Etheria into a weapon. But using that weapon would destroy the planet. So, okay, this is on spoilers, by the way, for season 4 here, but this is season 5, so you should know this. So, yeah. Light ho so... Light, so yeah. Uh, the pr the princess is connected to the rune, to the st rune stone, whatever they're called, and Shira were essentially components. They don't have any choice in the matter here, and Light Hope... Light Hope is the one who controls the system, and she was gonna fire it for some war, which would have ended long ago by now. We also learned that, yes, Adora is not of Etheria. Uh, she somehow came into Etheria when Hordak was trying to get a con make contact with his pro with his um, leader, Hordak Prime, which. We are introduced to Hordak Prime after Etheria has been taken away from, taken out of the of the Despondos uh, subdimension into the back in its place in the greater universe. And the guy, okay, he not bad, not a bad design, but yeah, the whole white and and like light green, it really sort of melds melds together to a point where it's 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 not as pro. It's not as uh, striking as the Hordak clone we've been fo we've been following for the last uh, four seasons with his like white, black, and red. Although the fact that he's got like three eyes on one side of his face here is an interesting take here. But yes, also we got a bit of Ketra as well here, where she slowly starts to realize she like gets a reality check here from. That chameleon individual, I'm gonna, I'm gonna refer to them as, I'm gonna prefer to it, that person, that individual as like they, because you know, and he just tell, just he, they just, they just tell her like, hey, when while tur when she turned into like Scorpia, because yeah, Scorpia just told her just she was a bad friend, was like it's you, kitty cat, you push everyone away, and yeah, yeah, she has been pushing everyone away here, including the like, wow, all, all for what recognition. She, she thought she, she, she would, she, oh, Ketra thought that she had power and all that stuff, she'd be happy? No, no, she's not. Far from it. So yeah, like, I think she came to realize that because she did technically save uh, Glimmer from getting killed, at the very least by time. From, from, so yeah, and maybe that, because Hordak Prime wanted to destroy like, all evidence of his, uh, brother's, like, f folly. So, Ketra, which she did, pretty much saved the planet and Glimmer. 
and now both Glimmer and Ketra are on Hordak Prime's ship. I can't wait to see. The, I really want to see what interactions they'll have with each other here, especially with how kind of they are now on an even level here, where Glimmer, upon being queen, sort of pushed like the rift form between uh, Adora and Bo, and she kind of pushed everyone away in her own in her own unique way here, while taking while you know trying to acclimate to her role as queen. So yeah, a lot of strain. Um, strained friendships in last season here to the point where they you gotta wonder it's like whew. so yeah now the people who pretty much ruined their friendship will they become friends or something like that i don't know <sighs> all right this is this is gonna be interesting oh and we also know that glimmer's father is still alive which will hopefully excuse me what Will you excuse me, everyone? Apologies, that people. Let's proceed on here. Hopefully, without any interrupt interruptions on my phone. Seriously, no, res no respect. <sighs> okay. There, yeah, the sword. The sword is broken. To stop the. I thought I could make my own destiny. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Know what my destiny is anymore. Make your yeah. Well, that's why you make your own destiny. Hordak sold the Hord Hordak Prime Soldier. Ketra, Glimmer, she's giving the Lux treatment because she's a queen, because she's a queen. You're not alone. There's a, yep, the Glimmer's father, we saw that right there. Hordak Prime. Oldest enemy? Oh, the Hordak clones. Prime holds every advantage in this fight. No longer shall she stand in my way. Ah! Hello, Adora. Why are you doing this? You will never win. <laughs> uh, they're gonna be hard to build. Hard to... I like how it looked like the honor, honor. Their was reaching. Okay, the honor of Grey Skull. That's another thing as well. I think I like the final season. Yeah, I think I like this scene right here. Let me just pause it here. Where? Okay, I, I think that's it's, that's either yeah, that looks like Adora reaching out for Ketra, and. Yeah, let's see, because we see some scenes here of, like, Ketra. Look at her, look at her when she goes to see Glimmer right there. Yeah, okay. Uh, Glimmer is clearly in a cell. In a cell, but... <laughs> a, but, like, a cell with room service here. And Ketra gets some free reign. Obviously on their observation. But... Can't wait to see their interactions. And now we see that um, Hordak Prime mentioned my oldest enemy, so... Obviously, the weapon... The, the uh, weapon that was that they made from the planet was meant for Hordak. That's, yeah. And I keep mentioning uh, for the other Grayskull here, and, you know, the path code to enter the, the, enter the installation was Eternia. But they have stated that, no, we're not going to get He-Man here. It's not going to be Eternia, but... Fine, fine. I, I can almost see it like uh, at the final episode here, there's going to be probably a hint. Like if they make a spinoff show around where we get Eternia, we get like uh, He-Man, everything like that. Who knows? Uh, yeah, it, it could have, have some possible bait, like a uh, possible spinoff spin bait here hanging in case this is their demand for it. But seeing as a this show is not doing good for some reason. I don't know why. I mean, I, I like the show. I like this show here. I've been liking the season. I like how these characters grow up and mature. Hmm. Yeah, like, I can tell that everyone is sort of lost in their own way. K 
Ketra is a little lost here. Glimmer is a little lost, even though she puts up a face of determination, like you, like telling Horak Prime he will never win. And we have, like Dora said before that, like he has the entire advantage because, yes, he's got a goddamn army that's in this, that's an interstellar empire. You're just one planet here, and you got, and you're just a small re rebellion. I mean, yeah, they got all this technology and spaceships and what have you. And a and an army of clones like crazy. And yeah, like I said, they've kind of worn themselves out with fighting the Hordak clone the Hordak uh clone. Oh boy. Yeah, like Ketra watching this, it's I mean, yeah, Ketra just like that. Look, like she's not not proud. She has a, a, a sad res, 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 resignation. Resignation right there. Just looking at destruction. And yeah. The, because she, as a queen, she's, she's a prisoner, but also a guest. So she gets the deluxe, uh, the, the deluxe cell. Oh, boy. So yeah, we got this here as well. We have got to... um touch upon Adora's origins here. We've already knew she was not, she clearly wasn't from uh, this planet here. The qu so the question is, where did Hordak Prime pull her from? What's her, what's her home world of origin? The obvious question is, of course, which everyone would say is, oh, it's Eternia. She's like, uh, remember, she's He-Man's uh, sis twin sister. Prince Adam's twin sister. We don't know that. I mean, they established that so they could be lying they it's, it's not the first time these guys uh these uh per, these writers and stuff like that said to have lied to the their teeth just to be trolls to us i mean i i have i have no problem with them just lying i mean i, I, I mean it's an answer at least they, they lie say no just to just to like oh so it, it was the case yes we and they just go yeah we lied we lied because yeah I mean, hell, trailers, trailers lie. Why can't the uh, writers lie as well? So long as it's more like in jest here to uh, throw off, to throw off our theories and stuff like that. Okay, not like when they promise something, we paid money for it and not get it. But like they do with like uh, most game companies are doing now. <sighs> so yeah, We got this scene right here with Adora, like, uh, I, I'm assuming trying to access the systems here because, and, yeah, this, it, this looks like, yeah, it's Mara's, Mara's ship. The sword is broken, everything like that, and if you look here, yeah, not a single scene with Adora, we see her as She-Ra, it's all just her. Because, yeah, the sword is broken. They, they don't know how to fix it. How do you repair a runestone? A uh, combination between science, between science and sorcery. So, yeah, it's all going to be Adora here. I, so, yes, it's going to be like the first few episodes, her law before she finds her determination and really begins to fight, like we see here, with what she got. I mean, she is still trained... Uh, uh, horde soldier here, even if she um, has kind of fallen out of practice a bit here, just she has to relearn. So I can't wait. I mean, I, I'm and honestly, like five seasons, that's a pretty good run for a cart for any cartoon. <sighs> I really do hope though that this is just the first in like what could be. A universe? <laughs> Who knows? All I can say is that, again, I've enjoyed seasons one through four here. Have there been some eh? Of course, because name one, se one theory didn't have at least that, like, eh episode. I mean, even the, leg the legendary Batman, the animated series, it had a few times. It had a few episodes where it was like, eh. Because, why? because of course, nothing is perfect. So yeah, uh, this and this comes out. Oh, 
May 15th, actually. So it's just a few, just uh, a week away. Next week on Friday. All right, I'll just sit back, relax, and binge watch this. I'm, I'm okay with that. So everyone, thank you for watching. As always, comment down below what you all thought. I mean, tell me, did you like uh, She-Ra, the Netflix She-Ra, or did you not like it? Did you hate it? Did What? Tell me in the comments down below here. Uh, like, like, and subscribe for more. Till next one, this is Mixon. See you next time.